Well, I tell you what, 90 seconds just hasn't been enough to talk about this subject, the self-centeredness. A couple of days ago, what I was talking about was uh, the loss of a loved one. Uh, maybe it's a parent, maybe, uh, maybe it's a, a close relative, a friend, a child. Um, and, and so what I've learned to do uh, with regards to that is, is first of all, learn to not think about myself because the grieving process and what you go through, and it's okay, look, it's okay to mourn. The Bible says mourn with those that mourn. Uh, and, and there's that period of time that you're going to mourn the loss of a loved one. So I am not saying that there's something wrong with that. But what I am saying is, is you don't need to live in that place. There are people that's never been able to move on in their life because they are still grieving. They've actually been controlled by a spirit of grief. Uh, and that could be you. Now, what, and, and so what you're doing is you're focusing on your loss, focusing on the effect it's had on you. That's self-centeredness. That's pride. Instead of focusing on, on where that loved one is. When I, I have learned, man, my best friend that passed away, he is experiencing heaven. I mean, I am more happy for him. I am happy for my father-in-law. I'm happy for that. I said it that time. So let, let's keep this thought going uh, with the next Life in 90, okay? So that's Life in 90.